Welcome to Xamarin Inform Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use behaviors in our Xamarin Inform application. So, what is behavior? Behavior help us to add the functionality to our Xamarin Inform controls, such as entry box, label, speakers, and etc. Let's take an example. Suppose we want to validate our entry entry box. So at that point we need to write the code code in our code behind page. At that point we can write our business logic for validating our entry field. So in this video we are learning going to learn the behaviors and how to use behaviors inside our Xamarin form application. So behavior are useful to add the functionality to any of the entry and other elements so in this video we are going to add a functionality validation functionality of a entry field and here is my main page and this main page contains a single entry and this i have a entry and placeholder is email and that's it so here we are going to add a email validation behavior so how to add a behavior inside our xamarin form to add a behavior we need to create a behavior class for that so go to the portable project and inside this portable project create a class add a class and let me name it email entry behavior and add this class okay so after adding this class this is my class okay so how to write the code inside the behavior class so before implementing the behavior let me take this class as a public and make sure that while we are using a behavior class we have to inherit our class from behavior of t behavior of t and this behavior class take the namespace as xamarin form and this t means the element name and the t means the name of the element so here we are going to add the functionality to a, a entry class so add entry that's it and this behavior class needs two override function and this behavior class takes two override, override functions one is one attached to and another put overhead class is on detach, de detaching form. So these two overhead methods are useful inside our behavior class. So we need to write the function and method inside this attach to and on detaching form overhead function. So here we are going to add a validation functionality to our email entry that we are adding the email validation so so to add the email validation this is our bindable object and we are going to change this bindable object as a entry also this one is entry and i'm going to change the name as a entry okay that's it so after that we are adding the function inside our on attach to method so here we are adding the method on email entry text change so while user type their in email inside the entry box it will automatically run this on attach to function so inside this function we are adding adding the code so entry dot text change and we are adding a anonymous function email in entry changed okay so generate this method here so inside this on attached to overhead method we are adding a text change event of this email entry change method we are adding this method on entry text change okay on same things we are just So here instead of using this plus we are using minus. So what the on attach 
टू फंक्शन डज वन अटैच टू फंक्शन फायर्ड हुएन द एलिमेंट अटैच टू दिस बिहेवियर एट दैट पॉइंट दिस बिहेवियर यूल कॉल्ड एंड हुएन द बिहेवियर डिटेच द कंट्रोल एट दैट पॉइंट ऑन डिटेचिंग फ्रॉम मेथड विल बी कॉल्ड सो एट दैट पॉइंट वी आर रिमूविंग आवर मेथड फ्रॉम दिस टेक्स चेंज मेथड दैट्स इट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एड द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ ई मेल एंट्री टेक्स चेंज सो हेयर वी आर वैलिडेटिंग आवर ई मेल यूजिंग रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू वैलिडेट द ई मेल फ्रॉम द यूजर इनपुट ओके सो वी आर टेकिंग एन एंट्री entry equals to we are casting our entry from sender and we are adding a simple validation rule of that entry if string dot is null or empty if this string entry text is not null then we are checking this validation rule entry dot text so inside after checking this null inside this entry we are adding a simple regular expression and this regular expression will be helpful for validating our email so you can use any of the regular expression you can found find it from the internet and you can uh, get and use any of the regular expression for validating the email and we are using a boolean property is matched and using we are using regex dot is matched and we are passing entry dot text okay and the pattern is this regular expression if the inputted entry are matches with this regular expression it will return a boolean property is match is true and false if is matched is true then we are changing the text color of the entry field as color dot black else we are changing the text color as red okay that's it so using this validation what will learn when user type the in type his or her email to that entry field at that point it will check check the email is validate valid or not using this regular expression if it will re return the true that means if the email is valid then it will the text color will be black otherwise if the email is invalid then it will turn the text color as a red so this is our behavior so we already completed our behavior and our last question is how to attach this behavior inside our controls so here is my main page dot xml page and inside this page i have a entry and how to add this behavior inside this pages controls so using these controls we have to use the namespace for that so we already so we already have our namespace and this namespace by default are there okay so in this entry we are going to add the behavior so inside this entry we are going to add this behavior so type inside this entry type entry dot behavior after adding the this behavior use this name as local because this is our namespace as a behavior sample and this is our namespace so type the here local and email entry behavior because our class name is email entry behavior and this is our email entry behavior so at that point we already attached our behavior to our entry control so the main question is why we use behavior we can also write this business logic inside our backend page also in that means we can also write this business logic inside our main page contain page 
but the behavior is a traditional approach to add the functionality to any of the controls suppose our application have multiple forms that will contains the email fields at that point we have to write the multiple validation code so at that point we can use we can reuse our behavior to our entry field so that is for the reason we are using behaviors okay so now run this project okay so here is our application and this application contains a fields entry field called email okay here i am typing a simple email and notice this while we are typing the email field it already turned into the red color because this is a not a valid email so test at the rate okay so here is the invalid email id and after gmail adding the at the rate and notice that after adding the, a valid email it turns into the black color so if i remove any of the text it will turn into the red color that means if the email is invalid then it it, it will turn into the red color and it is val if it will valid then it will turn in, into the black color so that is the functionality of behavior so using behavior we can add any of the functionality to our controls xamarin form controls so if you have any confusion you can comment below and thanks for watching have a great day